Okay, this video we're going to pull out the greatest common factor and then factor the difference of squares. We'll start with a quick review on page, this will be page one, and then we'll do three examples. Here they are, example one, two, and three. Okay, so to begin, write this down and, and do it. A plus B times A minus B, what does that give you? A plus B times A minus B. Just quickly remind yourself, you can't remind yourself of this enough, that the fact is that if you multiply two numbers added times two, the same number subtracted, you'll get a squared minus ab, right? And then b times a, that would be plus ab, and then b times negative b would be minus b squared, and these like terms added together makes zero, and the answer is a squared minus b squared, okay? So, we know that a squared minus b squared is, write it down, definitely a plus b times a minus b. How do we know that? Because we just checked it. Okay, so this is just, some, this is just a fact that we, who we discover and we remember. Okay, so it helps us to factorize this expression x squared minus 4. Because x squared minus 4 can be thought of as x squared minus what squared gives 4? 2 squared, isn't it? And if you want to press pause in the video, and just to help yourself, if you're having trouble at all, remember all your perfect squares. You know, you go all the way to 9, 11, and so on. Okay, so just, you know, write down, these are these numbers are called perfect squares. You need to memorize them. 2 squared is 2 times 2, that's 4. This is 9, this is 16, this is 25, this is 36, and so on. Okay, so figure out all your perfect squares and be familiar with them. Okay, so in any case, x squared minus 2 squared, it's just like a squared minus b squared. It can be written x plus 2 times x minus 2. And if I multiply that out and check it, that would give me x squared minus 4. Now let us remember how to do 9x squared minus 1. Well, 9x squared, 9 is 3 times 3, x squared is x times x. So 9x squared is, in fact, 3x times 3x, isn't it? Or 3x all squared. And 1 is the same as 1 squared, because 1 times 1 is 1, isn't it? So 3x all squared minus 1 all squared, it's just like a squared minus b squared. So in this case, our a number is 3x, our b number is 1, right? So we can write this 3x plus 1 times 3x minus 1. And go ahead and press pause and multiply that and check it. Feel free to do that, and um, then try this one, 36 minus 25x squared. You can press pause and try that yourself. So the trick is, what squared gives 36, and what squared gives 25x squared? Write it down. Well, 6 squared gives 36, doesn't it? And 5x all squared would be 5x times 5x, which would be, you know, 25x squared, right? So what we have is 6 squared minus 5x all squared, just like a squared minus b squared. So in this case, our a number is 6, and the b number is 5x, right? So we can write this 6 plus 5x times 6 minus 5x. And, you know, if you check that, you'll find it works. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times negative 5 minus 30x. 5x times 6 plus 30x. 5x times negative 5x is negative 25x squared. And these two middle terms add to 0. And so we end up with 36 minus 25x squared, right? So once we have this skill down, then there's only one extra step we need to know for examples like these, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So let's start with example 1, 40x squared minus 490. Do you think you can first, I mean, these are not perfect squares, okay? Your perfect square numbers are special. They're 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 
64, 81, 100, and so on, right? So 40 is not a perfect square, but do you think there's a greatest common factor in both terms that we can pull out? Right? 10 goes into both terms, doesn't it? So if we pull 10 out, let's see what we have. 10 times what gives this? 10 times 4x squared minus 10 times what gives this? 49, right? So we've pulled out a greatest common factor. We have a expression in here. It looks like this may be a difference of squares than it is. So we should try and factor this expression. So this express this green expression should be factorized and the 10 should be left here, shouldn't it? And that would be your answer, okay? So 4x all squared, let's work on that. 4x, of course, that's 2 times 2, and x squared is x times x. So this is, in fact, 2x um, times 2x, or 2x all squared. Our 4x squared is 2x all squared, right? And we know 49 is 7 squared. So what we have here is 2x all squared minus 7 squared, right? So that, of course, is 2x plus 7 times 2x minus 7. So our 4x squared minus 49 is factored like that, and that's the answer. You're done. You pull out the greatest common factor, and you factor the difference of squares. This is the final answer. So press pause on the video and try this one. 2x squared minus 32. Can you see a greatest common factor at all? Well, 2 goes into both terms, isn't it? So we can pull 2 out, and 2 times what gives the top? 2 times what gives 2x squared? x squared? 2 times what gives 32? It would be 16, right? 2 into 32. 2 into 3 goes once, and 1 over 2 into 12 goes 6 times. Now, can we factor x squared minus 16? Doesn't it look like a difference of squared numbers? So it should factor to be two binomials, and the greatest common factor is just going to stay here, right? So we, we, we're not, the, the two is pulled out, and we just changed the green part. And x squared minus 16, of course, is x squared minus 4 squared, because 4 squared is 16. So that would be x plus 4 times x minus 4, right? So now try example 3. Press pause in the video. Do 24 minus 6x squared. Okay, now I'll try it. First of all, you need to pull out a greatest common factor, if you think there is one. And oftentimes there is. And you might be able to see, well, 2 goes into both terms, but 6 goes into both terms. Even the, the, the greatest common factor would be 6, wouldn't it? And then think 6 times what gives 24? 6 times six times 4, isn't it? 6 times what gives negative 6x squared? Would it be x squared, right? And so our greatest common factor 6 stays there. And this is a difference of squares. It's 4 minus x squared. How do we factorize that? Well, 4 is 2 squared, isn't it? So don't we have 2 squared minus x squared? So what would that be? It would just be 2 plus x times 2 minus x. Right? And that's the final answer. Okay? Of course, you could have written that 2 minus x times 2 plus x. Whoops, 2 plus x. Either way is correct. And of course, you know, if you want to check any of these, just multiply them out. Um, 6 times 2 plus x times 2 minus x. You, If you're multiplying three numbers, so in checking this, the common error is that people think they need to multiply 6 in here and in here as well. And that's incorrect. And I'll show you why. For example, if I was multiplying 6 times 10, 
times um, uh, let's say 5 do I multiply 6 times 10 and then 6 times 5 and get the answer is the answer 60 times 6 times 5 60 times 30 1800 is that what 6 times 10 times 5 is because remember that you can remember 2 plus X and 2 minus X are numbers okay they're just numbers like 10 and 5 so the, this is obviously incorrect the correct answer is 6 times 10 is 60 and 60 times 5 gives me 300 is there any other way you could get the correct answer on this 6 times 10 times 5 how about 6 times 5 gives 30 right and then 30 times 10 is 300 or I could go 10 times 5 is 50 and 6 times 50 is 300 so basically you do one multiplication and you stop and then you do another one so I don't distribute the 6 both places that would be incorrect but I could just distribute the 6 here and here and get 12 plus 6x in parentheses and then multiply that by 2 minus x and then you would get um, 24 minus 6x squared uh, the, the most the neatest way to check it I would say is to first multiply your 2 plus x times your 2 minus x and get 4 um, minus 2x plus 2x minus x squared so that gives me 4 minus x squared and then multiply the 6 in okay so multiply 6 in I get 24 minus 6x squared 